Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install and configure MySQL 9.0 on Windows 10 or 11. First go to MySQL official website that is mysql.com. Then click on downloads. Click on MySQL community downloads. Click on MySQL community server. See here the versions 9.0, 8.4.2 and 8.0.39. So select the version and select the operating system then click on this download. Then click on no thanks just to start my download. See download has been started. Go to downloads. See the size is 132 megabytes. Wait until download completes. Download is completed. Now click on this, this MSI file. Click on it. Click on next, select the, I accept the terms in the license agreement and license agreement, then click on next. See here we have the three types of setups, typical, custom and complete. Select the complete, then click on next. Completed the MySQL server setup wizard. Keep the checkbox that is my run MySQL configurator. Okay, then click on finish. Now click on next, see. The first one is perform an in place upgrade of existing MySQL server installation. So I don't have anything. So select the, this option that is configure this server instance as side by side installation. And this is the data directory location. If you want to change you have to click on browse. Otherwise click on next. See here we have development computer, server computer or dedicated computer. I am going with the default one. And this is the port for MySQL. And these are the named pipes. Okay. So click on next. Now provide the password for MySQL root pass root user. You have to remember this password, which is required to connect to MySQL server. If you want to create a user, you have to click on add user. Otherwise, keep it as blank and click on next. This is the service name in services.msc i am ok with this one so click on next grant full access click on next if you want to create sample databases select both that is scala and world then click on next see this is the configuration information for mysql if you are ok with all these settings then click on execute successfully applied the configuration and then click on next click on finish we go to start all applications see here we have the mysql folder click on mysql command line client provide the password for the root account see we have successfully connected to mysql server and its version is see this is the server version okay show databases see these are the databases comes with mysql installation but scikit-learn world are the sample databases if you want to create new database run the command create database after schools put semicolon at the end it is type of create database after schools we have successfully created let us verify show databases see new database after schools is created if you want to switch to this new database use the command Let's use after schools now database has been changed now create a table create table student snm int primary key snm where care 50 put semicolon at the end of the statement show tables see we have one table let us verify the data in this table select star from student empty set which means it doesn't contain any data let us insert some data into this table insert into table name table name is student 
values hundred set one more row insert one more row but this time I am not going to change the s number surely it will throw error because we are we are trying to enter duplicate values see duplicate entry 101 for this primary key okay so primary key is defined on any column won't allow duplicates. See, we have successfully inserted. Select star from student. See, we have inserted three rows. Star means it gives all columns of the table. But if you want only the particular columns, S name from student. See, we have the those two columns. But still, if you want only single column, you select S name from See, we got single column output. Okay, this is by using command line. But if you want to connect MySQL from the GUI tools, we have the MySQL Workbench and DBWR. Let us open DBWR. I have already installed DBWR on my, on my machine. If you want to install, then go to the link provided in the video description and install it. In meantime, I will show you how to download and install. MySQL Workbench. See here, in Downloads, we have the MySQL Workbench. Click on it. Click on this new database. Then select MySQL. Click on Next. Then localhost 3306. Provide any database name. That. Then provide the password of root account. See, localhost because see server host is localhost because I have installed MySQL on this machine. So, I am giving local host or you can give the host name or IP of the mission. Then click on test connection. Connection is success. Then click on finish. If you expand this one, databases. See here we have the auto schools. In this auto schools we have the table student. Okay. This is the one way. This is one tool to connect to MySQL. The other is download this MySQL workbench 8.0. 38. Click on download. No thanks. Just start my download. Go to downloads. It's a size 41.7 megabytes. Wait until download completes. Download is completed. Now install MySQL or Bench Community. Click on it. Click on next. Click on next. 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 Here CE means community. Check this checkbox. Launch MySQL or Bench now and click on finish. Now click on this plus button to connect to MySQL. See hostname localhost, provide the password, click on store in password, store in what, then provide the password of, click on OK, click on test connection, again provide the password, continue, successfully connected, click on OK. I forgot to give the name MySQL 90 then click on OK. Click on it. See we have successfully connected. Now click on schemas. See here we have the database. Let us create a schema or database. Create schema test one. Click on save or apply. Apply finish. See, new database or schema is created. If you go to dbver, if you refresh database, right click, refresh, see, new database is there. Even if you go to the terminal or the command prompt, show databases, see, new database, test one is there. Okay. So, the last step is, we will see how to stop, start and restart MySQL on Windows operating systems. Windows run services dot MSC. Press M. See here we have the MySQL 90. And see here the service is running. Status service is running. If you want to stop, right click, select stop. If you want to restart, select restart. If you want here also, you select the service here. 
here we have the options stop pause restart okay these are the links see here we have the buttons like stop pause and restart the service okay so in this video we have seen how to download and install mysql 9.0 on windows 10 or 11 operating systems for more mysql videos please subscribe my channel thank you